This e-bike made by Sedona is a pack full of amazing stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of start from the top, work my way all the bottom, back. So let's check it out. Come in right here. To start off with, just let's just go right to the screen. You have the screen which gives you a lot of information. To turn this bike on, I like the fact that it has a physical power button. So you press this in, the battery is now engaged, and now to turn on the screen, you hold down the M button, which is like the mode button. You're gonna push this down for about a second, and then you can see that right there. So it gives you a lot of information. It gives you the battery right here, it gives you five different bars to be able to show you if it's full or empty, very simple. You got your mileage, maybe so like for the ride or for total odometer, you can see miles per hour. And this thing can get cruise, and we'll be showing you that here in a bit. But you also have this PAS. That's like the assist. So how you're going to adjust that is by going up and down on these arrows. What that is, is the amount of assist that it's going to be giving you when you are pedaling or when you're using it as kind of like a motorcycle where you're not even going to pedal and you just use the throttle. How you do that is this guy right here, this red button. Now, if I do this, watch, nothing happens. But if I push the red button in, get ready because I'm not, I'm not on it, but I press it. It just goes right away and has a lot of torque and a lot of power. Now, you can do that with a lot of torque and a lot of power, or you can slow that down if you want. You press this arrow down. I was at five, so that's the highest it can go, all the way down to one, where it's just going to engage kind of just like on an economy mode, keep you going. But if you want, at the same time, you can go all the way down to zero. Now, it's not engaging any electricity, any battery. It's just a normal bike. You're just going to be pedaling like any other normal bike. So you could even then turn that off. But gives you a lot of stuff right there. You have a horn, which is pretty loud. Pretty dang loud. <laughs> but at the same time, if you don't want to be that person that's doing a crazy loud horn right there, now it's super nice that it's loud, but you can do this right here. Just kind of a polite, you know, little ding ding. So you can turn this off by doing that. All you do is you hold the mode button down again. By doing that, it says off, turns off. Now this is like, you know, so there's no digital that's showing right now. You didn't turn off the battery. That's how you would be turning it off. Other than that, this is, so this is the throttle, right? You can adjust that. You have the handles, super strong. You can adjust them like this if you want, but I love the stitching on this thing. It looks really good and it's gonna last a very, very long time. You got your brakes and when you brake on this, which is really nice, is you have this on the back. So is when you press on the brakes, it lights up letting you know. Now I'll show you guys at night all the lights, what this looks like, but it, it looks really, really good. On top of that, this bike even has signals. So you can show that you're going left, right. So it's just as simple as going left, it's now engaged going left. And if I want to go right, I go right. And I just can put it back in the middle if I want to turn it off. It's super, super simple. I do love the fact that it is powered by the battery itself. And it's not something that I have to charge. What I mean by that is it has a cord going right to here where I don't have to be charging this thing. Other bikes, you have to be charging. I like the fact that it's just always ready to go. You don't have to worry about it, which is really nice. So other than that, that's everything you got going on up here. You also have the light on the front, which I'll be showing you that. You also have these mud flaps right here. So these mud flaps, you can take off the entire thing if you want to for aesthetic purposes, but I like it because I don't want that mud or water coming up at me. The shocks are really cool. You have a sweet function on this. So to be able to show you, I'm actually going to come around to this side so that I can show you the weight on the bike. If I put this up and I push down, it's as simple as you can see that it's engaged, which that's very, very nice. If I want to, there's this, come check this out right here. By doing that, I can lock the suspension and now it's not engaging. So say you're like on the road or something like that where you need that maybe a little bit more durable, harder suspension, very easy. But if you want it to be looser, open, you do that. And then you can do fine adjustments of the suspension itself with this right here. So nice that it has that. The brakes, by the way, sweet kickstand, very heavy duty. I love the fact that actually when it's up, it's not in the way of the pedals. There's others that it's like, why did you put that in the way? This one, it's not in the way, which is great. So you got disc brakes on the front and the back very rugged, gonna last a long time, and you can really feel them. This thing will stop on a dime if you want to. You can adjust the brakes very easily. One thing that you should be aware of is this right here, the like the, the disc that's gonna be pulling in the caliper, that's gonna be you know pressing on the brake itself, the uh, you know the disc. You can adjust that from angle to angle, very easy with these two right here, with these Allen wrenches. So if you want to, you can adjust that if it is touching and it's making that noise, so just FYI. You got the motor in the back, very strong motor. You got reflectors, but the thing that I love, these fat tires make it so forgiving. You can be going over bumps and all that, and because you got all this compression that can happen within the tire itself, you got the shocks that you can adjust. It's such a smooth ride, whether you're on asphalt, whether you're on a trail, I love it. Um, you also got you know seven speed up here, up and down. You can adjust the seat, and by the way, the seat, so comfortable. They really thought that through. 
because I've sat on others and they did not. They did though on this one. I love it. So you can also put about 25 kilograms or maybe 55 pounds here on the back, which is really nice for anything that you might be storing or traveling with. Other than that, they did a phenomenal job on it. They went quality on all the materials. Looks good, feels good, rides really well. I hope you guys like it. I wanted to show you what these lights look like at night. So this is the front headlight. It looks really nice. And then also the rear brake light, the one that has the signals, looks amazing at night. Very bright, letting people know that you're there.